Hey there, how's it going YouTube? I just had an interesting conversation with some people on uh, a mailing list about having different sets of uh, environments based on the screen size and what it's attached to and so on and so forth. This has to deal with form factors and Ubuntu. And I, uh, I thought about it for a little bit and I thought I'd make a plugin. So that's what I did and I put it into my Myth uh, TV thing that I'm making right now. And we can see if we actually look at this plugin right here, it's just a bunch of queue debugging right here. And what it does is it, it, it checks out everything. As you can see, I'm including queue screen, right? And then in my plugin file here, you can see that it's underneath something called device info is what I called it. And then it matches to the URI, in this case, myth system plugins. And if we go over to our QML over here and we actually look at our main file, I actually have a, a debugging part of it here. And it's right here, this mouse area right here, okay? It fills in this image, right? And if we look, I have device info set as foo right here, right? And then it says, you know, on click foo attached, right? So I'm bit just basically going to Q debug all that stuff back to here. So let's see how it works. I press play, or run, I should say. It comes everything, installed this into my, uh, I, I make directory that it, that it needs to be underneath. So now when we click on this over here, and then we go back, we can see that it tells us everything that we want to know about our screen. It tells us the depth, the available pictures, pixels, everything you could possibly imagine. And it even says which, are, which is our primary screen and what it is hooked up to. And I am hooked up to my VGA1 cord right here. And uh, I have my other screen turned off at the time. So right now it just says that I have one screen, right? But say let's go back over here. Let's go to, uh, I don't know... Uh, what is it? Screens or something like that. It's a uh, display. Oops. Displays right there. Okay, we'll wait for this gnome stuff to start whenever it feels like it. Okay, as you can see, I got two of them here. Now let's turn this one on right here. Okay, and apply that. Okay. Now we're going to keep this configuration, and I'm just going to leave this open for a little bit because I obviously have some things uh, wrong with my other screen. So now we'll run this again, and we'll see what it does this time. So there we go. There's the, the button that we're used to. We click on that, go back over, and as you can now see, information screen where does it start I should I'm gonna clean this up actually and click on it again now we go back over again now that I cleaned it up a little bit and it says number of screens two primary screen gives us the whole nine yards um, I hope you found this video enjoyable and I hope that you can take something from this and run with it uh, have it have a good day and be nice to everybody out there